Hello and welcome. This animation will show how the Forest, River Findhorn and Pool Muir Flood Alleviation Scheme will work to help protect houses and businesses in forests. Here we can see an aerial view of forests looking towards the northwest. We can see the railway line running from left to right. It is coloured black. The roads are coloured brown and the River Findhorn is coloured blue. We can see the Broom of Moy, which is to the west of the River Findhorn. To start our story, we are going to look at what would have happened during various flood scenarios before the flood alleviation scheme was put in place by Murray Council. First, we will look at the extent of flooding that would have been seen during a 1 in 10 year flood event. You can see that the main areas of flooding are farmland and amenity areas towards Findhorn Bay. You will also notice that parts of Pilmuir suffer from flooding during this scenario. This flood water has not come from the River Findhorn, but instead is surface and groundwater that struggles to flow away from the Pilmuir area. Next we will look at the flood extents during a 1 in 25 year flood event. Statistically, there is a 4% chance that a 1 in 25 year flood event will occur in any one year. Here we can see that bigger areas of land near to Findhorn Bay are flooded and that some of the businesses in Gresham Industrial Estate are affected. This magnitude of flood has not actually occurred since 1970. Moving on to a 1 in 50 year flood event. That is an event that statistically has a 2% chance of occurring in any one year. We can see that flood water from the River Findhorn has reached large areas of forests, affecting much of Pilmuir and also the northern parts of the town. Much of Gresham Industrial Estate is flooded and both the A96 and the railway line are affected. Our animation also shows what would have happened in a 1 in 100 year event. You will not be surprised to see that even larger areas of forests are flooded, with virtually the whole of Pilmuir, the entire Gresham Industrial Estate and much of the centre of forests underwater. Both the railway line and A96 would be out of action probably for many days. Finally, our animation shows the extent of a 1 in 200 year flood event. Statistically, there is a 0.5% chance of a flood event of this magnitude happening in any one year. This is the standard of defence that is provided by the flood alleviation scheme currently under construction. You can see that much of forests would have been affected and it is clear that the effects of a flood of this magnitude would have been truly devastating for many people. So, how does the Flood Alleviation Scheme protect forests from the effects of all this flood water? The first element of the scheme is work along the river itself, removing trees and material to create more space for water. This work has occurred on three of the river bends on the River Findhorn as it passes by forests. Our animation is flying from north to south along the route of the river. We can see both the width and depth that has been created to allow space for water. The second element of the scheme is the raising of the A96 so that traffic can travel over the top of the new flood embankments. We can see the new roundabout that is being built. This will provide two-way access to Gresham Industrial Estate. We can also see the new draining channels that will help ground and surface water flow away from the Pill Muir area. And we can also see the location of the new pumping station. Under normal conditions, water from the Pill Muir area flows past the pumping station. If there is too much water, sensors will activate the pumps which will force the water out to the River Findhorn. Now we have moved back to the north and we can see that water for road is also raised so that traffic can travel on the top of the new flood embankments. The new flood embankment runs past Gresham House and past the railway line and the garden centre. So, having looked at the various elements of the flood scheme, what effect will that have on flooding? Finally, our animation shows the pre-scheme and post-scheme flood scenarios running side by side, with forests undefended on the left hand side and defended on the right hand side. This makes it very easy to compare and to see the differences.
We hope that you have found the short animation useful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know by either speaking to one of the Flood team at the Public Information Day or by phoning the site office on 01309 678950 or by emailing forestflood, all one word, forestflood at murray.gov.uk. Thank you for taking the time to view this animation, which will also be available on the Murray Council website and on the Council's social media sites. Our animation now looks at the same flood scenarios that we examined in the first part of our story to see what the effects of flooding are. We move through the 1 in 10 year flood event up to the 1 in 200 year flood event and we can see that forest is protected in all of these scenarios. We can also see that land to the west of the new flood defences and to the west of the river Findhorn are still flooded.